Dogs have many kinds of odd behaviors that we as human beings sometimes can't understand at all. There are, however, many reasons behind this. In this video, we'll show you a list of odd dog behaviors and explain to you what they actually mean. Bad breath. Everyone that has ever come close to a dog has probably noticed this before. The breath of a dog is not really known as a great smell. Dogs, of course, don't have the same teeth brushing habits as us human beings, but sometimes we wonder why their breath smells that bad. What are the causes behind this? A dog's bad breath can mean various things. Of course, it is mainly caused by bad hygiene. Not cleaning its teeth or not cleaning them enough can cause a buildup of plaque and tartar. The same happens to human beings with poor hygiene. But it, of course, is more common in a different situation in the animal world. Chewing is therefore important for dogs, since this is the way to clean their teeth. Some kinds of smells can also indicate other issues. If a dog's breath smells like urine, this could indicate a kidney problem. If its breath smells sweet, it could mean that the dog perhaps has diabetes. Other kinds could also be caused by kidney issues. These issues are usually combined with other types of behavior or symptoms. A dog's breath can be cleaned through brushing or by chewing toys. Your dog will probably prefer the toy. That way your dog can play and work on its hygiene at the same time. Biting Speaking of teeth, another odd behavior that dogs often do is biting. Why do they always tend to bite so much? Dogs even bite the most random objects at times. It is especially common for puppies to constantly bite things or even people. They usually don't have sharp teeth yet, so it thankfully doesn't hurt. But as you know, puppies often bite or nibble on our hands. Puppies are more playful and don't always listen yet. As an owner, it is important to teach your dog not to do this from a young age. If not, the dog will grow older and bigger, with obviously larger and more dangerous teeth that could seriously hurt others. After all, dogs are animals with, of course, different behavior than human beings. Dogs often use biting as a way to communicate. Our real-life dogs are not like the ones we see in the Disney films, so they can't just tell us in words what they want or think. They have to use other ways to communicate this. Biting can also mean that your dog feels scared, anxious, or threatened. Biting could be a reflex as a way to defend themselves. It is, therefore, important to let your dog get used to different environments. Let your dog play with other dogs or people in new environments so its social skills and anxiety can improve. Jumping Dogs also tend to start jumping when someone enters the house or when they are simply excited. Why do some dogs always start jumping on other people? They don't seem to do this with other dogs. Their way of greeting other dogs is completely different. Or does it appear different? Dogs actually want to greet people the same way, by coming close to another person's face and sniffing it. Dogs like to touch and sniff other dogs' noses with their own nose. This is also what they try to do with human beings but our faces are simply too high. That's why dogs jump high. They're trying to touch your nose with their nose as a way of greeting you. This is also why dogs usually jump when they see someone. It is usually related to greeting. Jumping dogs are, however, not always appreciated by people. Owners should teach their dogs to moderate jumping on others. Dogs that jump on other people could mean that they are trying to be dominant. When the other person reacts too much to the jumping, the dog might also think that the person wants to play. The best way to prevent this is to not start touching or pushing the dog away, but to simply turn around and not give it any attention. Ignore the dog and walk away if necessary. After the dog calms down, you can start greeting it. This way a dog can learn the correct behavior and greet in a calmer way. Digging Another odd behavior that is usually not understood by us human beings is digging. Dogs can have the tendency to start digging in the ground, although we don't always understand why. There can be different reasons behind this. First of all, this is a complete natural instinct for animals, especially for dogs. Many dogs are domesticated, but when they see some fresh, delicious soil, they sometimes can't help to just start digging in it. Dogs can also start digging out of boredom. Maybe it just wants to put its energy somewhere. This can be fixed if you give your dog more attention or playtime. After running or playing a lot, it probably won't feel the need to start digging into the ground, since this also costs some energy. Another cause of a digging dog that is completely different can be anxiety or fear. A dog might start digging because it is scared of something and wants to hide somewhere. 
The hole can be a place of comfort. The hole can also comfort the dog in terms of temperature. If it's too hot, the dog will dig a hole so it can go in there to cool down. The hole can be an escape for the dog too. If the dog tries to gain access to another area or simply wants to escape, it will start digging. Lastly, the hole can be used as a place to hide dog's possessions, usually a possession that is precious to the animal, such as a toy or a bone. These things can be little treasures to dogs. Circle before pooping. Another odd behavior is circling before pooping. Why do dogs circle around a certain area before they are going to do a number two? Dogs always circle at a certain area and start sniffing. Then they will probably circle around and round. This usually takes a little time as well. Dogs first circle around a lot, while as we human beings might ask ourselves if it doesn't make them dizzy. It probably won't since they are doing it all the time and are probably used to it. Dogs circle before pooping to make sure that the area is safe. It wants to ensure that it can do number two in peace and that it won't be interrupted or attacked by others. Then the animal will check to see if the area is clean, which also requires a lot of circling around. The dog wants to be sure that the area is a good and clean spot that is worthy of his feces. Dogs think their feces are quite valuable and important. After doing number two at the perfect spot, the dog lets all the others know that the area is dominated by him or her. It will be the dog's territory. Dogs also circle before pooping to make sure that it is aligned with the Earth's poles. They want to align the north-south axis and do number two in the correct direction. Doing a number two and the way it is done is an important task for dogs, as we can see. Sniffing crotch. This is probably one of the oddest dog behaviors people are weirded out by, sniffing crotches. It is nothing strange for dogs to walk up to someone and suddenly start smelling their private area but it definitely isn't comfortable for people. Dogs, however, don't have any bad intentions with this. They simply just want to get to know you. Sniffing crotches is a way to obtain information about you for the dog. This is why dogs always do this to other dogs. By sniffing other crotches, they learn more about the other dog's gender, age, and more. They treat human beings the same way and think they are learning more about them by sniffing their crotches. Another reason can also be because of sweat glands. That area might sweat more than other body parts, which causes dogs to right away go for the crotch area. Dogs can, for example, smell if a woman is pregnant or menstruating. Dogs will not only do this to other dogs or human beings, but even to other animals. Dogs that live on farms often sniff the crotches of cows, so they can also learn more about cows. Although cows probably won't be as uncomfortable as us human beings, to us it can be something extremely uncomfortable and almost embarrassing even though the dog only wants to learn more about us or greet us. This is completely normal to dogs. They are seen sniffing each other's crotches all the time. Exposing Belly The last odd behavior of dogs that we'll explain is exposing the belly. Why do dogs sometimes lay on their back and show their bellies to others? This behavior can be adorable and can make people around laugh. When we see it, we know that the dog is happy and comfortable. Exposing the belly is a sign of trust. It means that the dog feels comfortable with you and trusts you. Usually dogs want to hide this part, the part where the organs are located. But when it rolls over and shows you their belly, it means that the dog feels safe with you. It knows that you have good intentions and won't do anything hurtful. This is also a sign of the dog being submissive. Dogs often want to show dominance, but this certainly isn't the case when it's exposing its belly to you. The dog puts itself in a vulnerable position and allows you to give it belly rubs. They are also giving you better access to give them these rubs. Dogs like belly rubs and it makes them feel comfortable and relaxed. This can be a bonding time between the owner and the dog. The dog can be pampered by you and the owner can reward the dog for their good behavior this way. The dog will greatly appreciate the little message and the owner, of course, will also appreciate the fact that he or she has the dog's trust Dogs can be their owner's greatest protection. They will even love you more than they love themselves sometimes. This at least deserves a belly rub. Which one of these behaviors do you think was the oddest? Share your opinion with us in the comments. We are curious to hear what you have to say. See you in our next video.